Hello, welcome to a new episode of the Productivity Tip Series. I'm Rob van Ecker. I would like to tell you about using mind maps in personal information management with a focus on project management. In this episode, I will sometimes refer to earlier episodes about bio files and tracking numbers. You should, however, be able to understand this new topic without having seen the previous ones. I will first briefly show you what mind maps are. For more details, you can find many other YouTube films on mind maps. The focus of this episode is on simple workflows as examples of managing data in project management environment using mind maps. But these techniques can help you in many other areas. A mind map is a diagram used to visually outline information. It is created around the main subject placed in the central node. Major categories radiate out from this central node, and lesser categories are placed further away from the central node. Mind maps are used in brainstorming, studying, solving problems and mapping knowledge. I will show you how you can use it in organizing and retrieving project-related information. In this case, you can compare the mind map to a graphical form of a table of content of your project. If you have many projects running in the same time, it can be very difficult to track all the information. I find mind mapping a wonderful way to stay organized. There are many free and paid mind map programs. In this example, I will be using an excellent and free program called FreeMind. I have created a small example file with four main categories. Development, Planning, Organization and Contracts. Each category has several subcategories that are relevant for this particular project. It is easy to add branches by just selecting a branch, pressing insert and starting to type. You can also easily move a branch by dragging and dropping. This is an example of the organization of this project, showing the internal and external groups and where they are located. Most mind map programs have the possibility to add note text to the branches. This little icon tells you there is some note text connected to our colleague Vijay in Mumbai. Here below you can see this note text. You could put contact details here like telephone numbers and email addresses. But as some people work on several projects, I prefer to have contact details in a more central place, like in Outlook Contacts. Unfortunately, it's not so easy to make an electronic link with an Outlook contact. In an earlier episode, I explained how you can use tracking numbers to make links between documents. Tracking numbers also work fine for contacts. In this example, I have a unique number in the note text field of this project member. I have the corresponding number in the Outlook contact record, making it easy to find this person's details using standard Windows search function. And here are the contact details in Outlook. I now give a simple workflow demonstrating how you can use this mind map. I received an amendment on a contract from company Zeus for extra work they need to do. I have already approved this amendment and want to store it for future reference. The possibility to change the email title is a nice feature found in most email clients. The first thing I do is making use of this feature by adding some information and a tracking number to the title of the email. I then copy the title of the email. I browse to the location in my mind map of Project X where I have the contract information from Zeus and add the title of the email. And this, in less than a minute's work, is all I need to do to make a reference to the amendment. It does not really matter where I store the email itself because I will always be able to trace it using the tracking number. These couple of branches in the contract section contain a lot of information. Here you can see the initial contract with its tracking number. It is easy to find back the electronic version of this contract. If you have looked at my earlier episodes on pile files, you can recognize the notation describing the place where the hard copy is stored. In hard copy file of project X at sequence number 95. Here you can see the earlier amendments to the contract with their tracking numbers. In the text field there is a short description about the reason for the amendments. There is also a link to the place in the mind map where the reports of this project can be found and a link to the team involved. 
In short, the example workflow was as follows. You change the title of an email to a meaningful one and add a tracking number. Copy the title. Store the email somewhere in your email repository or somewhere on your hard drive, wherever Windows Search can find it. Look up the branch in the mind map that is related to the document and copy the title there. And, if you want, add some note text. In this second workflow example, I found an interesting guideline I want to store to study later. I copy the link address and go to the related topic in my mind map. I make a note that I want to study this guideline later and add the address to the branch. This red arrow indicates there is an external link. Finally, I add a magnifying glass marker to remind me that this is something I want to look into. Like most mind mapping applications, FreeMind can also apply filters to select specific branches. This filter shows the telephone icon indicating I want to make a phone call to this person and several magnifying glasses indicating documents I want to examine. I hope you have enjoyed this episode about mind maps in project management. You can find the transcript of this video on my website robsprotips.com. This was Rob van den Ecker. Looking forward to seeing you again with my next episode. Please select one of the following episodes or subscribe to this channel.